What's going on guys? It's Monday, October 25th. It is about 3.45 right now and I'm currently at my dad's house but I'm going to walk down the road a little bit and go out onto 10 acres that my grandma owns. Um, I went in there a week and a half ago, put a camera out, put some corn out and sure enough there's been three or four mature does, two little fawns, a little seven pointer like this in there every day on that corn. They're on that path because around that path it's just thick in there. Um, so I'm going to walk down there, get set up. I put a stand out about four or five days ago and the stand's literally six to seven feet off the ground and it's going to be a ten yard shot on a doe. So it's going to be an up close shot, up close encounter and I'm just going to have to be in there with them, be still and hopefully get a good shot on her. So we're going to make something happen tonight. So stay tuned. We'll see you guys in the stand. There's literally guys working <laughs> over here to my right. Yapper right there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to show you guys how close the stand is to where I'm going to be shooting. So, check this out. Stands right here, corn's right there, literally. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. It's gonna be an eight yard shot. <laughs> so they're gonna be close up and hopefully I can make something happen. So we'll see what this evening has to offer. Stay tuned.
So I just got down out of the stand. Tried looking for my arrow because I mean I literally shot her at eight yards and cannot find my arrow. All I know is when I shot and my arrow hit her, she kicked. So it was a good shot. I'm thinking a heart shot or double lung. So I'm gonna walk over here where she ran to see if I can find some blood. Um, but yeah, the stand is literally right there. And I shot right here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna walk and see if we can find some blood, so. So after about an hour of searching for blood and looking for the doe, finally got on some blood and I finally found her. So from the stand, she had ran 40 yards over here to the right through this thick stuff. She came right through right here, crossed the path, and then went in over here to the left, probably 45, 50 yards in. So we're going to go get her. I think the shot was kind of not what I was expecting it to be. I think I hit her a little bit high, maybe a little bit forward. I didn't really look at the shot yet, so we're going to go check that out right now and go ahead and get her taken care of, and I'm going to go get the car, and we'll get on out of here, so stay tuned. Yeah, she really did run through some thick stuff. Cross this right here. Went in there, got set up in the stand, probably sat for an hour and a half, two hours, and 30 minutes before sunset, I had a group of does come in to the left side of me at 25 yards. Then here comes the little seven pointer behind them, chasing them to the left, closest to the marsh. And it was so thick in there, I couldn't really get a shot or make it happen. So I backed on out of there at dark and decided to come back in there early this morning. I mean, I got in there around probably six and got set up in the stand and waited it out, sat for probably about an hour and close to like 7.15 or something like that. Here comes these three does down the path coming right towards the left side of me. And the biggest doe was in front and she came in, probably made it to about eight yards and I drew back and I kind of traced her for a second and I kind of got her attention and I had a perfect shot. So the shot was kind of, I mean, as you can see the shot was a little bit high and it was not what I really had pictured in my head. I mean, I was kind of wanting to shoot a little bit lower and a little bit closer to that shoulder and have a tight pattern like right there pretty much. But I mean, she's down, late October doe. Super stoked because I'm getting ready to go back to Missouri here in a month, or not a month, a week. <laughs> and I'll be out there chasing the big boys. So that's the plan. I'm sure we're gonna have a couple more videos coming to you guys. So stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching.